I've been making a few building tips and tricks for my shorts channel, Instagram and TikTok and I've noticed a lot of people are making these comments. So let me get this straight. People think that me, a former LEGO designer who worked on sets like the Ship in a Bottle or Gingerbread House, whose initials are engraved on the Haunted House and the Titanic, have been teaching people illegal building techniques that could permanently damage LEGO bricks, one of the most sacred things on planet Earth. This is personal now, so in this video I'll be telling you what illegal building techniques really are, show you some examples and explain why you shouldn't use them. An illegal building technique is a type of LEGO connection that can, over time, permanently damage or even break LEGO pieces, as they stress the elements beyond their physical limitations and design purposes. Some of these connections might be really hard to identify, even for LEGO experts, and that's why they have whole teams working on model stability, element design and all sorts of quality checks in Bill and Denmark, the place where LEGO sets are designed. Let's take the example of the thumbnail of this video. While the build looks exactly the same, there's a difference in the bottom brick used. The regular 1x2 brick and the 1x2 Technic brick. What makes this one illegal is the fact that the stud has the LEGO logo on it, which makes it 0.14mm higher than the Technic brick with no logo, and therefore is rubbing on the element above that can over time damage it. Technic bricks, however, are oftentimes the cause of a lot of illegal building techniques that people might not be aware of. This is somewhat legal, but when you lock it between plates, it is not. If we zoom in, you can see that there is a very tiny gap in there, which means the pieces aren't properly connected. In this case, what makes it illegal is the fact that the center of the holes in the Technic bricks are at a different height than the center of the Ed Light brick hole. The slight height difference with the center of the holes makes using Technic bricks with other types of modified bricks with studs on sides most times illegal. This would be okay though, as the center of holes are aligned between these two elements. This plate on a Technic brick is okay as long as there isn't anything on top, but you can do a bigger plate on a Technic brick, as it is stressing the element beyond what it was designed to do, which is holding Technic pins. That's why there is a small indentation on the Technic bricks, so that the Technic pin can expand when properly connected. If you use the half pin though, that's illegal, as the half pin doesn't have room to expand inside the element. Same if you use a regular Technic pin inside a round 1x1 brick, for instance. These are very subtle connections are to know if illegal or not, but there are some obvious ones like this one that all of us probably have tried before. Try to connect the plate on top to see how hard it is to do. It's stressing the elements quite a lot. Bracket elements are great and this here feels like it should work, but it doesn't and you can clearly see why as the brackets don't want to stay together. Using opposing brackets is fine though. Subscribing is also fine. Some elements were redesigned to allow for new connections like the 1x1 clips. The old version had this reinforced clip, making it illegal placing a tile in there, as it's forcing the clip open. However, the redesigned version of the clip with thinner walls is a more flexible element, making this connection now legal. Similar as if you were to place a tile on a minifig hand. Same thing happened with the 1x1 cone element. The old version did not have a stop at the top, so you could damage a regular brick if you pushed it too hard. With the new version of the cone, the element on top can't go further than the cone stop. I heard lots of people claiming the tombstone tile with my initials on the haunted house set to be an illegal connection, but it actually isn't. The tile is, at a microscopic level, a shorter element than a regular plate is, so it can be connected between the studs of elements. A plate it can't and you can physically see it when you place a couple plates like so. It starts to stress the element and bend it backwards. Most illegal comments I've had was on this build here. But the elements aren't being stressed at all, there's even some wiggle room so it's fine guys. Keep commenting though, it's good for the algorithm. Hope you learned something new today and don't you dare saying I make illegal builds, because I don't. Most of the time.